Family wants answers tonight after they say their loved one died while being held at the Federal Corrections Institution in Big Spring. Kelby case Brenda Lopinski spoke to that family today. Brenda, what are they saying happened? Matt, Lazaro Flores' family tells me that he was about to turn 42 years old tomorrow. His family is absolutely heartbroken and wanting answers. I had to see my baby. What they did. Juanita Ortiz describing her horror after she received a call from the federal prison in Big Spring that her son Lazaro Flores, an inmate, had been assaulted and taken to Covenant Hospital. He's beaten to death. They beat him. His ear is gone. They beat that ear so hard that they just like ripped it off. Ortiz saying she examined the rest of her son's body and found no defensive wounds. He only had like little bruises here, like when you cover your face, like here in the knuckles, like when you cover like that, when you know they're beating you to death. At the hospital, Flores' brother capturing this image of one of the last handholds Flores would have with his mother. Hand he head. closed the hand and I felt it. Flores' brother in pain, saying he wants justice for his brother. I overheard by the officers there that they were attacked by the officers in that prison. But all the U.S. Department of Justice is saying in a press release is that no guards or prisoners were injured. They should have known. If it was not the guards that did it and it was an inmate, they know who it was and they should have known and they are responsible. Flores' family is planning a funeral in the near future, and if you would like to donate and help them pay the expenses, we have a link to their GoFundMe on our website, everythinglubbock.com, after the newscast.